Hi, Chris. Hi, Cassie. How are you? I'm good. What are you doing? Are we the only people here? I only see our windows. I think so. Are are we live? I don't know how to I don't know how to run this thing. I don't know. Now, where's Cat? We don't know where Cat is. But you know, I, I kind of I kind of always wanted to be a podcaster. Did you get one of these? I did. Let's see how they fit. Ooh, we look good. We look legit. Is this all you got to do? I could do this. I could totally do this. Okay. You know what? We are taking Where's over the Chat Chat Podcast. What is going on here? You got we're this. taking over. And we're going to ask uh, you the questions. But in the original one, the you can't put me getting doing to the mail. So, so, yeah. What's going on? Am I in trouble? We just thought we would take over and ask the questions of you this time. Yeah. So get ready. Fun and interesting. Okay. <laughs> on. Cassie, you want to ask the first question? You're on. Okay. What did you always want to be when you were little? Um, to be honest with you, I've always wanted to be... A teacher, yeah, a teacher, an artist, and a children's book author. All of them, because my family is full of educators, authors, and artists. So I just kind of like grew up going, I'm going to be all three somehow, but now I'm a full-time teacher for the Dr. Holy Period from K-12 to high school. And I started writing poems, short stories, so I'm a writer, and I like to draw, paint, draw anything, you know, by my title, hand drawing. So all of that, so I should kind of basically stick what I dreamed about to be when I was younger. Draw an author, an artist, and a teacher. And of course, the mom, eventually. All right, so you followed your dreams pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have to, that, you. That to be all those things. Yeah. When did you decide you wanted to be a podcaster? When I did that and I wanted to do a podcast. That went way back to my first drama, drama convention in West Palm Beach, Florida. Um, after I met up with a whole bunch of people, I met Dara from Dear Hallmark. Her first podcast I watched was when she was given a review, um, it was our review. And I was like, ah, oh, she's going to be my new best friend. So I became friends with Dara through Instagram, and she was telling me that she was writing a book. So I was honored to be part of that, helping her out with her book. And then I found other podcasts, Julie and Sarah from Such Friends Unbuttoned Podcast. And many other ones. I was up. And of course, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler was the number one reason. But after all that, I found so many connections and so many networks. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I should do a podcast. But no, so actually, and a couple of ones that you could do it. You know, I was like, I'm a mom, I'm a full time teacher. I mean, it was one podcast a month. Fun. I don't know. I don't know. I think about it. I think about it. Then it was drama, drama, Christmas, Chicago. I was like, I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. Okay. So I started thinking about it. So I was branching out. And I don't know how or anything, but I stumbled across Benjamin Airy, who is the founder of Romance University. Yeah. So I was like, I'm doing a podcast. Would you like to be my first guest? No, because we were talking a lot. Because that woman asked for the birthday and how I appreciated that he was opening up for charity. So then we got it on and then came on my podcast and then kicked it off from there. So I started to branch out, just not about a hallmark all the time this year. And last year, I've been trying to work it out 
to branch it out to those to the society out there, those children who poorly from out of brain injury, especially me, mom, my life as a teacher, so I try to branch it out. So it started off with Hallmark and it's going out. Okay. And okay, you just so had you a said... big anniversary. Yeah. You just had is. a big anniversary. It was six with one year and a bunch of the cash chair podcast. Woo! Woo! Congratulations. Go ahead, Cassie. Sorry about that. Oh no, it's okay. So you had said that Benjamin Ayers was your first first interview yeah. on your podcast. So what was that like? That was I would I would know, but he was doing a live. Right before my uh, podcast interview, because he would talk about romance university, and he would talk about his plan for Mother's Day and the promoting product and a movie or something. And he was like, "Oh, after this, I'm going to be on capture podcast." And she's very nervous. I could see her on the live. It's okay. It could be fun. Fun and came on. He was really sweet. He was really genuine. Because he was like, oh, to hear a story. He was actually saying, he was, I wanted to learn a couple of ways to the sign language to talk to. But all I could say was, I'm sorry, Cass. I'm like, hey, that's fine. And I we should like kept it off. We were just talking about a couple of, couple of movies that were my favorite. And I was trying to get him out of him if there was going to be any secret word for Cranberry Christmas. And I think they're in, but not really 100% confirmed. So, yeah. And then among other things with Benjamin, it was a really good podcast. It sounds like it. Okay, Chris, do you have a question? I do. So do you have a favorite moment from your first year as a podcaster? Mm. Oh that, ah. I feel like I'm a hallmark star trying to decide what my favorite movie or my favorite podcast to work with. That is a tough question. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think what everybody said to me on my podcast. I would I would go with every part or every episode there's always a favorite moment of every podcast episode for okay. many different reasons. For example, um, this was my most viewed podcast all year long. It was Paul Campbell. That Paul Campbell. Aha, Campbell. Yeah. The reason why I felt like that podcast was meaningful because, you know, Paul on screen Quirky, odd, sweet, and just Paul. And the way he was talking about him diving, you could tell he had some drunkards or something walking with all through his life. And I see each true characteristic of whoever comes to my podcast. I mean, we need that. Andrew definitely in that. I'm the third in definitely Paul. I mean, Paul is pretty much the same on screen, off screen, depending on the character he playing. Um, that podcast was meaningful. And we talked about a lot of deep meetings about the movies he wrote or produced, like Mariah Lighthouse, A Christmas by Starlight. I really liked that movie a lot. At the, at the beginning, I was like, mm not working it for me. And then I started to grow on Kimberly Susan and Paul Campbell. I thought, okay, okay, I could get used to that. So my favorite podcast or my favorite memory, I would say there's a little bit for each episode. Paul, it was more humble, deep, and I feel that we really connected on like a writer perspective because I'm an author too and I'm trying to get the book published, and also possibility write a book about myself, about my life upbringing, but I'm not sure about that, yeah. And other podcasts like Jackie Hutch was about faith, and he had a new that experience, so did I, with my son, so that's another thing. Um, let me see what else. 
Dr. Harbaugh podcast, Brand Panda. What was the other guy's name? Brand Panda. Forget me, me. The Dr. Harbaugh guy, all three of them. They were hilarious. Yeah. I mean, was she like going back and forth with the band time? And I talked to him about, you know, I have to watch Tom Beach, drama, drama. You guys were singing my favorite song. And I was just coming back from you to the restroom. Hello? I do it all next time. You could come and sing with us. So again, every episode, I have a small memory or a small connection because they're all real people. Doing their job to make all of us happy with all the movies, TV, theater, um, you name it. Okay. Great. Yeah. Well, so you touched on just now how each person has their own struggles or like quirkiness. Um, one thing I want to say is how much you inspire me. Um. I feel like you're such a go-getter, like nothing stops you. And so I kind of just want to know from you, like, what's a struggle you've had with the podcast or like getting into it, or maybe something you found was a challenge and how you overcame it. I had a lot of the point. I had a, okay, sorry. I had it. I was going on here. I had a lot of the point. Like with all of my friends I made at Rama Drama, what Palm Beach, Rama Drama Chicago, and I was trying to get my plan together. I came up with a list. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a, a hold of these people and stuff. Um the only challenge that I overcame was realizing that I need a team of interpreters because what they're doing is hard. And it's a lot. So we learned that. From my first podcast with Benjamin Aries, we learned that she was a that was a great podcast. Man, we need a team for that. I was like, okay, so they gave me the direction. Okay, we need a team. The reason why? Because I don't mind totally for you and for your guy. It's just a lot, you know. So I try to be mindful on the time, based on their schedule or about availability of my interpreter. Um, so every, I think every episode had not much of a challenge. The only challenge will be like trying to get the scheduling, turn out the availability, my availability, their availability, and try to like make it work. And well, I have another challenge. Then we'll run, but I can't think of it. No, nope, no. Nope. The prep. Sometimes I will over prep. Sometimes I will under prep. And I learned from all my podcast to find them. Sometimes we have like two questions and we just wink for the rest of the podcast. We're like, we're okay. like oh, go for it. Because maybe that one of the best podcasts ever. I think I winked at all with um Jack. But I didn't have a lot of questions for her. Jack. And of course, the podcast. And that, how do you say it again? That Brendan, that Brendan's unbending podcast. The where, a few yeah. questions, and then we should like carry it on, waking up. So right now, I'm trying to figure out how to do a live podcast. Because okay. Okay. it's nice and kind to everybody in the handy community. If and when I get Tyler Hand on the Cast Chat podcast, it will be streaming live on YouTube. Okay? So my challenge is to figure out how to work the live on YouTube. So I had a little bit of a not so good experience. So I wanted to figure mm-hmm. out why. And there are Julie. From Duck Bandit on Biden Podcast. And then we had a little bit of a challenge, but we made a work, you know. That was that pain that I'm thinking about it. You know, I was gonna attack live with well done. I 
can't remember who. I don't know. No, not live, but quick done. I think a couple of podcasts before I was able to try it, then a chicken down. I was like, no, I'm not ready for that again. So that's another challenge I need to overcome trying to do a podcast live so people can comment. So if I run out of things or if they run out of things, they can have a chicken, like, pick from the comment. So okay. did I understand correctly that you said you want to have Tyler Hines on the Cat Chat podcast and that you want to consider doing that live? Do I understand that correct? Yes, ma'am. Because it's been a little minute since we had a live with Tyler Hines. Just a little minute. So that would be good. That's true. And we So a minute ago when I lost... Go year. ahead, Cassie. What'd you say? No, she's been doing the podcast for a year and you haven't even had him yet? Really? Like he's Come missing on. out. He is totally missing out. Um, if, a minute ago when I lost connection, I lost all my questions. So, but I do have a burning question for you. Do you like hot wings? Hot rather. Hot wings. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do not like hot wings. I am very particular with hot wing. Okay, no Kathy, wing. you better I ask a real wing. question. A real question? Okay, we'll get back to business. Well, let me think. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? In 10 years. Um, let's see, I'm thinking. In 10 years, I'm hoping I'll be close to my retirement. And I hope to have a small house in Awani. Okay. My dad. Okay. For my dad. Just yourself. My family could come and visit me if they want. Okay. So well, you'll still have. Honestly, 10 years, I wouldn't mind having a small property in Awani and just okay. sit there when I want to with my dad or my family. Oh, invite a couple of pioneers to come over to Iran. You got to come. No problem. Yeah. I know. If you want to come out to Costa Rica, you can. Well, I hear Hawaii has a lot of pineapples. A lot Which of brings me to my next question. <laughs> my next, next question is, Pat, yeah. this is this is a very, very serious question. Are you ready? If you could be any fruit, what fruit would you be? <laughs> oh my God, you guys are killing me here. If I were a fruit, what would I be? Yes. Um, that's a good question. That's a very good question. Um, my favorite fruit is strawberry because I'm sweet. Okay. But if I want to live dangerously on a dangerous side, it could be a pineapple. That was a tough question, Chris. That's a good one. It's got to be a pineapple. <laughs> well, a pineapple over on the dangerous town and the sexy town. You know, when you call a pineapple in the house and put it in a drink. Right? Cassie Rainison. Okay, well, so I don't know if anybody cares, but I'd be a peach. So I was going to ask... um. If us three were were to have a like start a business, let's say us three start a business. Yeah. That's what plausible. Business, what business do you think we should start, and who would do what? Hmm. We want to be done. We no. We can. We can be a creator, creator of Tyler content or any Hallmark content. Oh, I like it. All my content junkies. Oh. I like it. Okay. We can contact about anybody in Hallmark. Not just Tyler, mostly Tyler, but anybody in Hallmark. Paul Campbell, we need to get working on that. Chris Palaha, Nicky Deloach, Lacey Shepard, Bethany Joy, you name it. A whole bunch of people on my background, too. That sounds good. I'm ready to sign up now. Me too. And then we'll get the house in Hawaii and we'll get to do all the things we love and go live in Hawaii. So I love and that. And you got to pineapple. Um, but you just... A bit of Hawaii. 
You just brought up a name I really want to ask about. Another serious question. Have you ever had the opportunity to meet Chris Palaha? Okay. I had a short opportunity to meet Chris Palaha along with the co-author Anna Coleman when they both teamed up with the two book. Moment like the the way of the sunrise and, and then we started for the third book. I was like, Chris, I said, it's coming. I need the book. But I met him virtually during my podcast for 30 minutes. But Chris McCann, uh, Chris, five minutes. Just five. I mean, we need a, we need a, we need a different Hallmark movie, you know, just five minutes, no, five minutes, and then we have five more minutes. So why do we do, um, if you should wait and five more minutes. Dairy Cat, a quick palaha. Be sure and wear at the New Jersey Christmas Con Convention Center. That way you're going to be dreaming. But on the last day, I was grumbly in the line. I was going to the line. And the right people were closed. I was right in front of Tyler line, ready to go now. And I'm looking at Chris's booth. I'm like, he's walking up. I'm not wrapping up. I'm not. And I'm a VIP. I told the guy, I told Ron Sandra, you, and I said, you were there. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'm running. I'm like literally jogging over by halfway of the convention floor. He walked through the door. I'm like, Chris. Hi, Chris. Oh, Hi, no. Chris. Now I went back to Thailand. Maybe this Christmas. In the mail. I got something special in the mail. Okay. Yeah. I got something special in the mail. I mean, as soon as I got it, I cried my eyes out. So I met Chris. He called me kid. If you have not watched Bill more Christmas, shame I do. If you watch it, you will understand why I told him to call me kid. Look how dreamy he is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Unforgettable guy. And the other he is pretty amazing. Are you ready for my other surprise? I got it the mail. I cried. I got this hand of sexy guy holding a candy cane. Whew. Yep, that one's sexy too. Very sexy. <laughs> Cassie, what's your next All question? All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, um, I'm sorry about meeting with the papaya. Okay, um, so that's a goal. December, if he comes back, I'm going to be the first person in line. Like, All right. They're going to do this, this, this to me to make up for the five minutes I've lost. Done. Okay, peace. I'm going to Tyler's line for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> All right. All right. So if there are any new people watching right now who have never seen this podcast before, what is something that you want them to know about you? Um, if people are new, subscribing to Cat Share Podcast or following my social media account, two of them, I put the one in my podcast, one, I will let them know, thank you for following me, thank you for subscribing me, taking a look into my world and what I'm all about, not just Hallmark, I'm also... That individual, I'm a mom of two kids, and I'm a teacher. Tough job in the world, among other kinds of jobs out there. Um, I get along with people. I'm here to make new friends, open to meeting people. And if they have suggestions or feedback or comments about my podcast, my podcast channel, on journey, I'm open for that. That's why I'm slowly coming out, trying to take up more content, not just Hallmark, Hallmark, Hallmark. I'm also doing book. I put book reviews on my Instagram account. I have not really talked a lot about book on my podcast. I've interviewed three authors, so, so I wish you tell them a little bit more about them. Why am I doing that? I'm doing that because 
It's a good way of meeting people. It's a good way of getting myself out there. Do they know me more? Um, and it's a, also a hobby, I guess. I mean, I see all of these. I'm like, oh, I could do it too, you know? I could stop any time, you know? I'm, like, oh, I'm done with that. I could just like, shut down and then keep on with my social media, but it's going pretty good. That's what I would say. And then, like I said, you can ask me anything. You can reach out to me. I'm an open book. I know my vibe. With some people I talk to online or meet in person, I would be like, I'm gonna be cool. I them I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna draw my line right there. I'm gonna be cool. Don't worry, you guys. You guys are good. I'm cool with you guys. Okay. <laughs> you better be. <laughs> you better be. That's right. Even though we took over. So, Kat, you mentioned just a minute ago your kids, and we were all so blessed to get a chance to meet Taylor recently when you had um, a podcast talking about his injury and it meant so much to all of us. It was a very emotional episode. Um, so I'm wondering, you know, later as your kids grow older, they're going to probably watch your podcast. What do you hope and dream that they will learn from their mom from watching your podcast? Yeah. Well, first of all, they're going to think I'm crazy. Because I'm my life with her, Mark. And my life with Tyler and other people. But um, I think they will, when they grow up, they will probably, you know, thirst your parents. Look, mom up on that. Look, dad up on that. Oh, my God. What, what, what? So I hope they will learn from it. And particularly why, one, the internet. Maybe I was on the internet for a newspaper clip in my high school, 40 fun, or I could be in a clip for summer fest, or name it, whatever. And my podcast only been right out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all of that, but not really newspaper or magazine, no. But whatever they see about me online, uh, know about me. They know I am devoted. I mean, I make sure they're safe. I make sure I can get what they need, to have what they want. I make sure they're safe at home, school, anywhere they are, anywhere they go. Um, and of course, I talk about serious things, important things, like life of a teacher, how dreadful that is, and coming home, and I have to deal with my own kid, my husband, and with other top special needs. I mean, my son Taylor. Um, after that life, he had so much fun. He was like, "Oh my gosh, mom, you're Heidi fun the night." But I really love romance university. Ben, my boy, so Benjamin, did you hear that? So again, it's that one whole. Family, so yeah. I think they know I'm a good person. I provide a lot for my family. I work hard, and that there's some room for me to be to make improvement after mom, after individual, after wife. So that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's a really good thing. It is. That was a good answer. It's Chris okay. and Cassie approved. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got another question, Kathy? Um, I don't know how much more time we got, ladies. All right. Oh, you got to take over, though. You got to take over, though. I'm on your clock. I have one more serious question, and then maybe we can have a little silly. Um, okay. So my next serious question is, now that you're at the end of this first year, and you've talked about how you're starting to branch out, what are your plans over the next year to take your podcast to the next level? Oh, that's a good one. Mm, that's a good question. Um, like I said, I want to branch out, so I'm looking into more supporting role, not the main lead male, the main okay. female. I'm going to try to go down to the party world. I'm trying to get the person, Eric, Avatar, who was the reindeer in the in the Santa summit? 
and who was a bad fan or something in a different movie. He's hilarious. So I'm trying to get more supporting world directors. I am in the work of trying to get the director from within movie, the movie, the more Christmas and the ship. So I reach okay. out to the director. Cool. So that hey, I would be interested in having you come on and talk about your experience about directing the movie, the director supporting world and other titles. I've already had a costume designer, fellow podcasters, um, writers. Yeah, writers would be so fun. It would be really great to hear hear from some more writers. Yeah, yeah. and then sometimes, like, sometimes I would like to return a favor or make my podcast a little bit fun. So, like, a, a person or one one of my mutual friends or whatever that. Oh, I love the person so much. I'm like, okay, so would you be interested in popping in on the end of the podcast episode just to say hi or ask one question? I did that with Kimberly, where I had Paul Campbell on my podcast. And I recently did that to find my two girls, Kathy and Ashley, who were part of the walk party for shifting gears to find them. Come on, you can ask. Come on and ask Krista the burning question or two. That was a lot of fun. So I try to like incorporate here and there on the oh, I'm happy Tyler. Well, nobody could have come on Tyler. I'm sorry. But I will be I will be live streaming the camera. Okay. You're gonna keep Tyler all for yourself. Right. Yeah, we That's hear how it is. Honest here. <laughs> yep. She's just gonna hog Tyler all for herself. So I try to do a little bit of that. Yeah, and then I'm working on the deck culture project, going really well. I've got three people so far. Oh, good. I have to reach out to three or four more people. And then I'm going to release an episode a week. So it's a work in progress. I, put, okay. I wanted to do that last year, but I was like, I don't know. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. And I was still new. I was to happen to all these connection or network, but now I do the yeah. rolling. So that's what I want to do. When I'm trying and me and me have a book club, I don't know, see how much time I have. If they can go in high school, they don't need my help with homework. Maybe I'll do one the month book club on the cash chair podcast. That'd be fun. I'll be there. Yeah. Of a whole bunch of books we could talk about right now. Um, do we have time for another question? Because I, I, you just touched on something. You're in charge. I, you're I, in did. Charge. I, I say you have time for another question. Oh, because you're in One charge. One more. I'm in charge. Who's in charge? I'm in charge. In charge? Okay. Well, I thought I was in charge. I mean, who's in charge? You're not in charge right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, fine. No, so you were talking about you're doing some projects with the deaf culture. And I actually did have a question. Um about this i wanted to know is there something that you feel most important that you feel you want people to know about the deaf culture like is there something really important to you that you want people to know well i could say um the the few things you should not say or do in front of a deaf person and one is I know it's your time. I'm like, okay, okay. And B, I look like that, the A, B, C. You know it's your time. I mean, can you dine? Oh, I'm learning. Okay, that's fine. They can learn, but they need to have a purpose and wanting to learn, not learn and then make fun of or mock or whatever. I was like, you know, the people mocking French furniture. You know, the people mocking that. So, and when people, that people are driving or just around or whatever, sometimes people have to keep in mind there are different 
can't appear in art. Completely dark, nothing, nothing, no evidence, no implant, nothing, nothing, dark. Then, yeah, when you have me, I mean, I'm completely dark in one ear, I hear just very little bit in this ear, so, like, I can hear you talking, but I can't make out the words that I pretend. So people have to understand, like, if I'm in a conversation with you guys, and you guys are talking, and I'm like, oh, I missed what you said, but I would watch to this person. Never mind, I tell you later, never mind. I was like, no, I'm not going to say never mind. You tell me right now, because she's done talking. So what did you say? They were like, so never say never mind. Or no, not a point. I'll tell you later. Don't worry about it. Cool, cool. So that's right. pretty much it. And when, when I'm driving and uh, people are talking, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to talk to them. But they have to realize I can only talk or understand them if I'm looking at them. So I'm not like, I'm not driving. I'm like, I can see the corner of my eye sometimes. Like, oh, no, yeah, that's so fun. Yet I remember that. Or at nighttime, I need to have the light on. Or don't talk to me during the night because it's not that fun I mean, for me or any other people out there. Um, I don't have to take the time to learn the language and you have to take the time to pick around or improvise. So if you don't have a phone and the period people talk about McDonald's or whatever, I would say, oh, okay, hold on, they have a paper and a pen and everything. So people have to be aware about that. Sometimes yeah. I'm not in the mood to do anything. I will type up, but then I'm a phone and show them. I will take my phone and do my order or whatever. Drive through the not bangling. Yeah. Definitely not bangling. But yeah, it's what it end. Well, that was very insightful. I'm glad I asked that. Thank you for um, asking. Um something that I wanted to ask, and and Chris, if you have a question, earlier when you were talking about um things that somebody who's just now watching um, to know about you, like, you know, what we want them to know about you. One thing I don't think you touched on, and I'm sorry if I missed it, but where can everyone find you? Where, how do, yeah. how do they find you online? How do they he get to watch? W where are you at? Um, How do they find me? Okay, after the podcast episode or whatever, I normally try to upload on YouTube and I could put, my social media information on there, like okay. my personal Instagram account, my podcast account, and my YouTube channel website down there. And then sometimes okay. I would share my screenshot of every podcast. I'd be like, hey, check this out. And people from there share it. Okay. And it on, you know, now that I have a connection with Hallmark a little bit, because with the fan leaders, so that was a fun episode. So I'm hoping that I'll reach out to more band leaders and hopefully I will be able to get a hold of the chief offer to Jenny. I'm still trying to figure out a sexual Madara. We're both so busy. I'm like, girl, I missed you. I need to talk to my sister from another mother, another father, whatever you name her. She called another sister from a different Hallmark movie. I'm like, that's more like us. I, well, I don't have any more questions, but I just have sort of a statement. And that is, I find you the most inspirational and wonderful person I know. You just, you know, the way you are with your kids, the way you are with, you know, teaching and the things that you post online in our community are wonderful. Uh, but most of all, when I was brand new last year at Christmas Con, you made me feel like I had known you forever. And so I just want to thank you for, for the heart. Bad, right? I <laughs> yeah. But I just want to thank you for that. Thank you for um for making everyone feel so happy and so wonderful and so welcome. Anytime you're around them, you are pure sunshine. And so I just wanted to say thank you for that. Ah, thank you. Yeah, like I said, like I said, if I meet people or uh... You know, meet someone new at a convention or whatever, I would know just like that. If I would get along, or we have a good vibe, or we have a okay vibe, or we have a okay. Proceed with caution vibe. With some people, 
But again, I mean, if people don't like me or that they can do that. There, that's not possible. That's problem. No, that's that's problem. not possible. You don't like me. I don't know why. I don't know. I might be crazy, but that's who I am. I mean, I'm crazy about literally everything. Crazy over my job. Crazy over football. Mm, not enough. I mean, come on. It's not crazy. I call it passionate. You are so passionate about everything oh, you do, okay. and you put that passion into everything you do. And like she said, you are pure sunshine, and I completely agree. Okay. And I'm so, so thanks for letting us take you. over. <laughs> what? Yeah, I yeah. Just said, so thanks for letting us take over. <laughs> yeah, this is. I fun. have to do all the editing, though. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I just edit whatever. Just keep not about. I would just edit. I'm. A, yeah, Kathy, will you die there? Oh, yeah, quit, will you die there? Podcast ends up being seven minutes long. I had so much fun, though. Um, yeah. I hope Tyler sees this so that he can get on your podcast. Hint, hint, hint. And do we want to take a shot? He thought he said, yeah, he thought I'll be on. It'll be very soon. I'm like, okay. So when I see it, okay, I'm going to say that, okay. Very soon. Now on by the summer Christmas time and he's going, I would be like, Tyler, it's been 84 years. Shall we set up a date and a time <laughs> in the cast jack out of book, please? And then, I'm not leaving. Uh, my honey, the hat my back. The, oh, got my back. So, yeah. Let's go. We will. Yeah. It was my Christmas wish. It was my birthday wish. So who knows? But I know. I know in my heart when he comes down, it will be a funny podcast. I will be sitting here right there. Are we going to have to take over because you're not going to be able to see? I, know. I think we're going to have to just take that one over too. No, my Zoom account information, you should be able to take over one time. Okay. No we'll have to take over so you can just sit there and stare. I, I like this. Except, Cassie, it would be all you because we all know I can't say anything to Tyler. And Cassie would be speaking for me. I'm just staring into her green eyes, okay? Okay, we may need the interpreter for this one (laughs) because I might not be able to say anything either. But, (laughs) oh, my. Okay, shall we do a bush chat for the takeover? Yeah, let's do it. Did you say bush chat? Or are we doing pineapple shot? Yeah, I thought we were doing. Okay. That my boot. <laughs> What's the boot? I have my pineapple What's one ready. <laughs> That's okay. Pineapple or boot. I got both of them. Don't I, don't say, I do have my boot. Do we do a podcast and things don't really go planning? So this is the blooper, but it's not going to be edited out. So this is the car, the cast chat podcast takeover, unbuttered. Okay, well, I'm a little embarrassed that my boot was so close at hand, but <laughs> wow. oh well. You at least got it real fast. Cheers to Cat, Cat, Cat Chat Podcast. Cat Chat Podcast. Happy birthday, Cat Chat Podcast. One year. Woo! Woo! Great. Well, thank you for the takeover, ladies. That was a lot of fun. Being in the hot seat. And I hope everybody out there watching this podcast tomorrow, you will learn something new about me and all that burning questions. It's all on the Cat Jam podcast. No lies, all the truth. Pray to God. But thank you. Thank you for tonight. And thank you for watching, watching the Cat Jam podcast. Cast off the cast, be quick for the takeover. You guys will get the official the Cash Jack podcast beating shortly in the summer. But other surprises, take care, guys. Love you. Love you too.